Um, this is something that I've I've heard a lot where they try to dissuade new writers from using this uh, technique. And I wanted your guys' take on it. Uh, flashbacks and voiceovers. Novice writers, oh, no, 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 no. I used to get so much flack because I loved the movie For Love of the Game, which is really, in essence, a lot of flashbacks all strung together. Right. But, um, and at the time, I didn't really think there was anything wrong with that until I really started looking at it and thinking, wow, that's a different way of doing things. I don't know that that would work for everything else. Maybe it was just the R of Kevin Costner and that. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I, I, again, it's a tool. I don't think you want to, unless you're, there's a reason that you're doing a movie full-on flashback. You're going to use it as a tool. You're going to be very specific about why and where you're using it. Um, what's the other part? Voiceovers. Voiceovers. Again, don't have a problem with them. They're a tool. Where are they appropriate for what you're trying to do with your script? You know, this is another thing that Terry and Ted preach on the, on the, on the Word Player website is you have to be the expert. You have to know why you're choosing to use these tools. Mm. Experiment, play with them, look, see what other people have done with them, you know. The reason that it becomes a rule don't do it is, again, the red flag because it's used badly so often, both of them. And the reason they're used badly is because they're so easy to be a crutch. Yes. It's difficult to get across exposition and it's difficult to get across internal monologue in a screenplay. There are cheats. There are cheats. Yeah, in so many it's ways. easy to cheat. Um, well, I don't know how to let people know that she was beaten when she was a child. I'll have a flashback. <laughs> and you go back and see her beaten as a child, which is often the first thing you think of and the cheapest and easiest way to do it, which almost by definition means it's not the coolest way to do it or the most effective or elegant or efficient way to get across the fact that this character was beaten when she was a child. Um, same thing with voiceovers. If you look at Goodfellas, for example, you couldn't do Goodfellas without voiceover. And there are so many movies that the voiceover is a real plus to the movie. But a lot of times it's people, especially younger, they don't have a lot of tools in their screenwriting toolbox yet. And they, wow, how do I let people know how this character is feeling about this situation? I know, I'll have voiceover. Yeah. But the trouble is, first of all, it's, you know, it's a cheat, it's a crutch. Second is, if you have somebody that's looking kind of sad and they're looking at something and their voiceover says, I'm kind of sad, you're not getting anything from the voiceover. The only time voiceover should be used is if you, if you have sort of a narrator character and then it's okay, though it's still going to be kind of crutch. Or if the voiceover contradicts what's actually happening on, on stage or on screen because then you're widening the storytelling that you're doing. Mm. If the voiceover is just reinforcing what's already happening on screen, you don't need it. It's a challenge. You, know, you, you want to give a sense of nostalgia for certain stories. You don't want to have that off-screen story that that stuff that's already happened that's so important to what's going on now in these characters' lives because everything that's happened to these characters before is informing a lot of their actions in this moment of the story that you're seeing them. So look at Star Wars, you know, the line, you know, my father fought in the Clone Wars, you know, that's probably not exactly the way it was, but, <laughs> but it's like that speaks to uh, history and nostalgia and we didn't flash back to the Clone Wars right in there in that movie. You know, we, we kind of checked it out for later. The <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but you did. I did. George Lucas, we're sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so use it as a tool. You know, just know why you're using it. Be able to fight for it. Right. Don't use it as a crutch. If, you can't, if you're doing it because you can't figure out any other way to get across the information you need to get across, figure out some other way to get across the information you need to get across. Right, right. Okay. Okay. 